Hi friends, good evening. We will see important points for exam. This video is the continuation of yesterday's topic that is fluid and electrolyte imbalance. Mainly electrolytes we are seeing. Today first we will see electrocardiographic changes in electrolyte that is ECG changes in electrolyte we can see. First in hypocalcemia there is prolonged ST interval and prolonged QT interval. Both uh, ST and QT interval is prolonged in hypocalcemia and in hypercalcemia there is shortened ST segment and widened T segment. In hypercalcemia it may be shortened ST segment or widened T segment can expect and in case of hypokalemia there is st depression or shallow flat or inverted t wave or prominent u wave either any one changes or all of the changes we can see in hypokalemia and hyperkalemia tall peaked t wave or flat p wave or widened qrs complex or prolonged pr interval we can see in hyperkalemia and Hypomagnesemia in tall P wave or depressed ST segment. Hypomagnesemia can expect or in case of hypermagnesemia we can see prolonged PR interval or widened QRS complex. We can see. Next mineral is calcium. Normal serum calcium level is 8.6 to 10 milligram per deciliter. That is normal serum calcium level. And the common food sources include cheese, milk, soya milk, spinach, tofu. Tofu is a um, food item which is preparing from soya milk. And yogurt, sardines is a type of fish. And rhubarb is a type of vegetable, leafy vegetable. That are the main sources of uh, calcium and Hypocalcemia means serum calcium level will be decreased lower than 8.6 mg per deciliter. That is hypocalcemia. And the causes include inadequate oral intake of calcium. That is decreased intake of calcium. Then malabsorption of calcium especially in celiac disease and Crohn's disease. And also inadequate intake of vitamin D. Vitamin D may cause hypocalcemia and end stage renal diseases. These are all the main some of the causes of hypocalcemia. And in hypocalcemia that affect the cardiovascular system. What all the changes we can see in hypocalcemia is decreased heart rate. Heart rate will be decreased, hypotension, decreased BP and diminished peripheral pulse. Neuromuscular changes in hypocalcemia we can see. It's an important point. Irritable skeletal muscles, cramp tetany and schizer that is it will affect the skeletal muscles so irritable skeletal muscles cramp tetany cramp pain that is tetany and schizer tetany means involuntary muscle contraction that leads to painful muscle cramp in case of hypocalcemia and schizer occurs in patient and painful muscle spasm in cough and food during inactivity while the patient is taking rest also uh, patient will experience muscle spasm in calf muscles and food and paresthesia followed by numbness paresthesia means abnormal sensation that is painful sensation and numbness in lips nose and ears and positive drowsia sign and joystick sign anxiety and irritability and we'll see what is joystick sign is joystick sign is a contraction of facial muscles in response to a light tap over the facial nerve in front of the ear that is in front of the ear over the facial nerve if you are tapping there is a contracture of facial facial muscles is called a joystick sign that is in picture we can see if you are tapping or in front of the ear there is stitching movement we can see okay that is called called a joystick sign and we will see what is trousers sign is a carpal spasm induced by inflating a blood pressure cuff that is we know what is blood pressure cuff with blood pressure cuff we are inflating inflating so patient will experience that is carpal, carpal spasm spasm of the carpal bone and stitching movement we can see that is called trousers sign like picture in picture we can see how it is so both joystick sign and trousers sign is positive in case of hypocalcemia 
हाइपर कैल्शियमिया हाइपर कैल्शियमी मीन सीरम कैल्शियम लेवल एक्सीड्स टेन मिलीग्राम पर डेसी लीटर एंड द कोसेस मेनली एक्सेसिव ओरल इंडेक ऑफ कैल्शियम एंड वाइटामिन डी एंड डिक्रीज डी कैल्शियम एक्सक्रीशन एंड रीनल फेलवर बोन डिस्ट्रक्शन दिस आर ऑल दी सम इम्पोर्टेंट कोसेस ऑफ हाइपर कैल्शियमिया and cardiovascular changes in hypercalcemia we can see increased heart rate in early phase that is tachycardia in early phase first phase and followed by bradycardia bradycardia means decrease heart rate and bradycardia leads to cardiac arrest in late phase in late phase there is a cardiac arrest and increased blood pressure bounding or full peripheral pulse also we can see in cardiovascular changes and neuromuscular changes in hypercalcemia include profound muscle weakness weakness muscle weakness will be occur and diminished or absence of deep tendon reflex and disorientation lethargy and coma and a client with calcium imbalance is at the risk of pathological fracture there is a chance of fracture that is while moving the patient we should assist the patient as a nurse we should assist the patient and also we should advise the patient to reduce calcium intake magnesium the serum normal serum magnesium level is 1.6 to 2.6 mg per deciliter and the common food sources of magnesium include avocado cauliflower green leafy vegetables such as spinach and broccoli oatmeal peanut butter peas pork beef chicken potatoes resins and yogurt resins is uh, dry grapes that is resins these are all the main common food sources of magnesium and the next we will see hypomagnesium and we know serum magnesium level is lower than 1.6 mg per deciliter and the cardiovascular changes in hypomagnesium include tachycardia and hypotension the tachycardia means decrease heart rate and hypotension bp also decreased and the respiratory changes in hypomagnesium include shallow respiration and neuromuscular changes in hypomagnesium include stitches in muscles paresthesia paresthesia means subnormal sensation that is painful sensation positive drowsiness sign and chobistic sign we already saw what is positive drowsiness sign and chobistic sign and hyperreflexia tetany and seizure these are the neuromuscular changes in hypomagnesium hypermagnesemia hypermagnesemia means serum magnesium level exceed 2.6 mg per deciliter and cardiovascular changes in hypermagnesemia include bradycardia dysarrhythmia and hypotension bradycardia dysarrhythmia and hypotension and respiratory changes include respiratory insufficiency and neuromuscular changes include diminished or absent deep tendon reflex and skeletal muscle weakness or the neuromuscular changes and another one very very important point calcium gluconate is the antidote of magnesium overdose so the antidote of magnesium overdose is calcium gluconate and next is Uh, mineral is phosphorus normal serum phosphorus level is 2.7 to 4.5 mg per deciliter and the common food sources include fish organ meat nut pork beef chicken whole grain bread and cereals are the important sources of phosphorus and hypophosphatemia means serum phosphorus level is less than 2.7 mg per deciliter and the cardiovascular changes in hypophosphatemia include decreased contractility and cardiac output decreased cardiac output and slow peripheral pulse and hyperphosphatemia means serum phosphorus level is exceeds 4.5 mg per deciliter in case of hyperphosphatemia hypo and hyper and another one important point very very important point will keep in mind is decrease in serum phosphorus level so serum phosphorus level is decrease accompanied by that time increase in serum calcium level so when the serum phosphorus level is decrease serum calcium level is increase when the serum phosphorus level is increase serum calcium level is decrease so this is an important point so we saw all the minerals its values hypo and hyper all we saw